So the we're going to dive a little witchcraft. bit deeper now to the hottest parts, to the most cruelest parts, right? Now, believe it or not, you have to remember that these are the lower parts of the earth, which means that these are the most harshest punishments. Now, you have to remember that the father's eyes pierces through the darkest corners of the earth, so nobody's escaping. This is exactly what I mean. Now, we're talking to the streets now. This part of the abyss belongs to the panderers and the pimps, the pimps and the panderers, right? And so everything needs to be covered. And in the father's eyes, all bases are covered. Nothing is hidden. You have to remember, brothers, that these are the daughters of the almighty God. It's kind of like if you had daughters, right? And some of your daughters were, were good and some of them was rebellious, right? It's the same thing. You wouldn't want you wouldn't want to have any of your children disrespecting each other. I don't care if my I don't care if some of my daughters got good grades and some of them didn't. I wouldn't want I wouldn't want the ones with good grades to tease the other ones, right? Because I'm gonna feel that too because they all come from me. You know, um, you know, brothers, we adults, we want to do what we want to do, but you got to remember, Christ said, because of your lack of self control, have one wife. You know, a lot of the brothers is teaching that we supposed to have, you know, we can have more than one wife and this because of David, because of Solomon. Well, guess what, man? That was David and that was Solomon. All right. A lot of brothers can't say that they are well off or that wealthy as those brothers who were able to take care of all their wives and their concubines. All right. It's some of y'all that can't even take care of your, your girlfriend right now. OK, so you have to remember that the pimps and the panderers going to have their share in the lake of fire as well, because the father sees everything. All right. Now, why these guys are marching in separate lines in different directions, being whipped by demons, right, because they misled others. So now they're driven to march by demons for eternity. You ever you ever really not like a girl? You know what I mean? You just thinking with your second head. I used to be me 24 seven. Right. So this is where all the flatterers go, because the truth is you don't mean what you're saying up to your neck with burning human excrements. Right. OK, now, why would the father give you such a judgment? Because your words were all empty. Right. You ever been with a girl that you're trying to manipulate? You don't really like her. You know, she kind of cute, but, you know, you're not really feeling her like that. You're just trying to have sex. You're just thinking with your second head, you know, so you manipulate her. You try to flatter her. And now you created a soul tie with her. That should only be made during marriage or whether you're willing to, whether you're willing to take this person serious or not. Sex is very important. And the father looks at it just like that. All right. He don't look at it like we just sleeping around and having fun. OK, now down here is where we find all the sorcerers, all the false prophets, all the corrupt politicians. OK, heads being twisted around their bodies backwards, crying with many tears that they can't see. OK, now those demonic entities are very now They don't like human beings. You have to remember that Satan is the adversary of mankind. All right. Which is why a lot of people that practice sorcery, it always ends off bad for them. You can never it, you will never ride off into the sunset with your life practicing sorcery. Now, I remember the brother John Todd said that one practice of witchcraft is like diving right if it's like diving off of a cliff and it's more addicting and it can cause more withdrawals than the most strongest drugs right which is why you see a lot of your celebrities right diving deep into witchcraft for that bag and after a while you see them just sucked up looking nasty so much so you know a lot of people start thinking that they clones because they really don't look like themselves well no that's the that's the side effects of witchcraft you got to be careful because that I can do what I want now car going to end you right into one of these levels. OK, because you have to remember that human beings, you aren't independent beings, you are dependent beings, which is why your life is short. And they're all going to burn in a lake of fire. OK, now, when you find yourself next side by side with these um, supernatural entities that don't like you, because the most High is going to put all of us all at one with them since we want to follow them. You're an adult now and, you know, it's OK. You can make all the decisions that you want and you can't. And, you know, forget about the father of righteousness and living a disciplined life. You're going to end up right here with these fallen angels. And there's different levels uh, depending on how on, on the different ways that you thought and the different ways that you maneuver through life with your deception. Right. Because everybody got certain levels, how they move. Right. And so everybody got certain levels, how they do things and nothing is escaping the father. That's why there's different levels for everything. There's different levels to your righteousness, to your purity. That's going to get you into the kingdom of heaven. And there's different levels to your wickedness because not everybody is on the same level of wickedness or righteousness. You know, so the father knows all of our levels. He know he know he know what level we all on. OK, he made a place in paradise for it or he made a place in damnation for it. OK, so you choose wisely. Thieves. Flocking stuff. That's what, that's what we used to call in their hood. Flocking stuff. You know, these guys actually mutate into the things that bite them. OK, so a lot of these guys are turning into reptiles. A, guy, a lot of these guys are exchanging their natural. Na a lot of these guys exchange their nature with reptiles after being bitten by them. And so you have to remember that demonic entities are very perverted. These things are into eating you while having sex with you. 
hell. No chamber of hell is, is desirable. It's nowhere you want to go. I don't even, you know what I mean? Limbo is shut down. You can't even get there anymore. So you're being lied to. You. If anybody telling you that if you die, you're going to go to limbo because you wasn't such a bad person. You're being lied to. Okay. You're going to get torment. You're going straight to torment. Okay. Because the Christ came already. The savior came and you did not take up his offer. Kakaitis. Kakaitis. And that's the river of wailing right there mentioned over there in Dante's uh, Dante's Inferno. All right. Now, that's the that's the lake of ice. That's the river of wailing. That's the lake of ice where the sinners are completely encapsulated in ice. Right. And every time they cry, they tears freeze and seal their eyes shut, denied from even having the comfort of feeling tears. Now, these people down there that are stuck in this ice it's not just cold down there. You have to remember there's demonic entities down there as well. All right. Now, it, this is a place for demons. It's the abode of the dead. It's, it's demons are ever. This is their home. OK. And their bodies are used to the elements, which means you're going to be the only one feeling all that pain while they're inflicting pain on you. All right. These creatures cannot die down there. This is where they live until they go into the lake of fire. OK. Now, every person that's caught in this in this horrific part of hell is distorted in every conceivable position. They don't even look like humans anymore. They don't have any symmetry. They've become like demonic entities. I'm talking about neck out of ribs. I'm talking about leg out of ear. OK. Absolutely no symmetry. The ninth circle. Right. It's the very bottom of hell. OK, now there's many reports that Satan has three faces, right? He has a red face, a black face and a yellow face, and each of them have individual mouths. OK, and in one of these mouths, you can find Judas Iscariot. OK, now, you're, now does anybody remember Judas, Judas Iscariot? Remember, that was the biblical betrayer of Christ all the way at the bottom. Judas went all the way at the bottom, y'all. He's right down there where Lucifer is. Three faces, one yellow, one red and, and one uh, and one black. All right, now they all have individual mouths to chew on, his prominent traitors. That means all of his servants that didn't do a good job, all of the Luciferians, all the Satanists, all the witches and the warlocks that failed, okay, they didn't take out enough Christians. Lucifer is being waist deep inside of this ice, beaten on his sixth wing as if he's trying to escape, only for the ice to further secure his imprisonment. All right, because when the Most High puts you somewhere, you're set in stone. Whether you're free on planet Earth to enjoy your life and make great decisions, or you're inside of Sheol, you lost your life and you ran out of time. So these nine levels with these different chambers that you hear me talking about, this is not it. All right. The lake of fire, that's the final destination for everyone. And hell itself is going to be completely cleaned out. All, all floors, all levels and all chambers is going to be cleaned out. And everything's going into the lake of fire, including Lucifer himself, because he cannot escape.